the approach that Patria is having for the Romanian uh, program is the same that we have applied in other countries like Poland and Croatia, which is a transfer of technology to the country, Romania in this case, uh, production here uh, in country, and, uh, and then the capability for you to maintain the vehicles, develop them further for your needs, and also to take advantage of the, uh, of the things that other countries have done. Additionally, what we are offering, it's not only the product. It is the business model, what is a battery a unique thing. So we are very much uh, ready to uh, localize the production of the vehicle to Romania and uh, also the uh, support system for the vehicle. So uh, the vehicles would be built in Romania and they would be supported in Romania by the Romanian industry. We agree also that of, of course we are creating the production capability during the first program uh, for what do we use it afterwards. Uh, the first part of course is that uh, the factory in Romania is then in a very good position to do the life cycle support of the whole fleet for the next decades. But obviously the production capability we want to use it and Romania wants to use it for the uh, other possible customers. Uh, can, can we talk about maybe export after we're done with the units for the Romanian army? That is also possible that, and that is what has happened in our other production lines. I mean, the, our partners outside of Finland, either uh, they are doing the marketing themselves to countries where they, for example, have good connections politically, uh, better than what we have from Finland. Uh, and also uh, the way that, uh, that Patria has been selling vehicles that then have been produced in other countries. That is the very idea of the technology transfer that, uh, that you have the capability to do, to modify, to repair, uh, to maintain and so on. We would be talking about a considerable amount of, of uh, jobs, including also the sub-suppliers, the subcontractors, sub the logistics around that and, and so on. So uh, it, it's a considerable number of jobs, yes. Obviously some of the key components like engines and transmissions, they are coming from the OEM factories wherever they are being made. Uh, but uh, uh, manufacturing, we are meaning on that level that the hull manufacturing, for example, it will start from cutting the blades, uh, uh, welding them together, making the hull, and then followed by the assembly. The highlights of the vehicle is, first of all, its mobility. Uh, On-road, off-road, it has an excellent mobility. The top speed of the vehicle is 105 km per hour. Could be more, but it's not needed, typically. Uh, uh, it has an excellent off-road capability, it has a hydropneumatic suspension with a wheel travel of almost half a meter. So it's a very capable vehicle, eight wheels, uh, comfortable suspension. In water the vehicle is amphibious until, uh, uh, up until uh, 28 tons total weight and uh, amphibious swimming speed is about 8 kilometers per hour. We are totally open for, I would say, any kind of weapon systems. So uh, uh, if we look back our history, we have integrated maybe 20, 30 different weapon systems to the vehicle. So uh, we are very much uh, willing to listen to customer preferences on the weapon system. Typically, uh, as this vehicle, what we have behind here, it has a half inch uh, machine gun remote control weapon system made by the Norwegian company Kongsberg. Uh, it can also have a medium caliber weapon system and I think that that is the main focus in Romania as well. So uh, 25 or 30 millimeter uh, medium caliber gun. As it's a very reliable vehicle. Uh, the construction is modular so uh, there are easy repairs like for example the power pack. If it would need to be removed it can be exchanged in one hour. Armies typically uh want to have different versions like ambulances, engineering vehicles, command vehicles, mortar vehicles and so on. And that has uh, also happened with our other customers. And uh, typically the armies have a little bit differing requirement, a diff little bit different equipment that they want to put on the vehicle. And that is exactly the kind of thing that uh, can be done in country, of course with Patria's help. Uh, using also the items that Patria has already developed, so you don't have to start from zero, but just to add what, what uh, Finland and the other countries, uh, AMV countries, have already done and concentrate on developing the parts that are specific for Romania.